The Great Spirit Chose Abram, Genesis 12. Here we go. Welcome back to Unprofitable Lies, Part 3, The Great Spirit Chose Abram. Let's recap where we left off. We have the flood, we got out of the ark, and we were commanded to be fruitful and multiply in the land. We get out and began doing that through Shem, Ham, and Japheth, among the children of Japheth through his son Cush. We should know the names of the sons were switched between Japheth's sons and Ham's sons. Amraphel or Nimrod appointed himself leader. He built a great city and attempted to build a tower. This plan was stuffed and we began to disperse from modern-day Sudan, but to the ancient day, it was the land of Senar, which our Bibles spell as Shinar. Are you there? Good. Many headed west is in western Africa, and many headed south, southern Africa. But the children of Ham, Gomer, Magog, etc., headed into Europe and Asia. Abram was living in West Africa. Now we can continue the story. 1 Now the great spirit had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. 2 And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. 3 And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Abram at this point is commanded to leave his nativity, his relatives, and his family, and go to a land the great spirit will show to him. From there the great spirit will make Abram a great nation, enriched, with a famous name for righteousness, and he will be an enrichment to others. All the families of the earth will be enriched via Abram. 4 So Abram departed, as the great spirit had spoken unto him, and Lot went with him. And Abram was seventy and five years old when he departed out of Haran. 5 And Abram took Sarai his wife, and Lot his brother's son, and all their substance that they had gathered, and the souls that they had gotten in Haran. And they went forth to go into the land of Canaan, and into the land of Canaan they came. 6 And Abram passed through the land unto the place of Sikkim, unto the plain of Moreh, and the Canaanite was then in the land. Abram is in the land of Canaan, first going through a place called Sikkim. Then he went to the plain of Moreh and he observed that the Canaanites were in the land at the time. 7 And the great spirit appeared unto Abram, and said, Unto thy seed will I give this land. And there built he an altar unto the great spirit, who appeared unto him. 8 And he removed from thence unto a mountain on the east of Bethel, and pitched his tent, having Bethel on the west, and high on the east, and there he built an altar unto the great spirit and called upon the name of the great spirit. 9 And Abram journeyed, going on still toward the south. Verse 9 does not say where he went, but he was in Bethel and continued south from there, it would lead him to Hebron. Needless to say, Abram and his house are in the land of Canaan, and they journeyed south from the land of Shinar or Mesopotamia, both of which are on the continent of Shem, which we call Africa today. A famine in Canaan sent Abram to Egypt. Verse 10, And there was a famine in the land, and Abram went down into Egypt to sojourn there, for the famine was grievous in the land. Abram and Sarai traveled to Egypt because of the drought in Canaan land. In Egypt, when Abram saw how beautiful his wife was, he became a little nervous that someone might want to kill him just to get to her. So, being the problem solver he was, he asked Sarai to tell everyone that she was his sister. Sure enough, the Egyptians saw her and took her to Pharaoh's house, where she was treated like royalty. Meanwhile, poor Abram was left with just his sheep, oxen, and camels. But it wasn't long before the great spirit intervened and plagued Pharaoh's house with plagues. Pharaoh quickly realized what had happened and demanded to know why Abram had lied to him. In the end, Pharaoh sent Abram and Sarai on their way, along with all their possessions. That's what we have today, for chapter 12. Join us for chapter 13 in the next video. This is Minister Coco and the BSM team, for www.biblestudyministry.com. To read along with this series as we're writing it, visit www.unprofitablelies.com. Tell a friend about us, about the movement for truth and righteousness, all for a better world community.